Oh hi guys, I am just having my floating breakfast. Join my trading course if you want to be like this. <laughs> Welcome to the honeymoon vlog. I'm by myself. taken off we've got some snacks we're just picking a movie to watch right now i think we're gonna watch Mahabate. Um also so what happened was you know how the emirates start to come around uh, and they basically do these do these things for kids i'll show you guys oh my god the brownie is gone <laughs> brownie um, they, they come around and take pictures so what they did they took one for us because i asked them <laughs> you know they're like what the hell these are not kids we got a nice picture, obviously. I'm in it as well. Uh, sorry, my wife's in it as well, but she just covered herself. Uh, and it was so cute. So now we've got like a memory. All right, see you guys probably when the food is here. Yeah, I can't lie, I'm too tired. I haven't recorded what we ate, but we ate good, bro. Alhamdulillah, the food was nice, didn't it? It was decent. Uh, three course meal. But anyways, I was just deep in it, yeah? Because you know, I've like traveled quite a bit with my friends. And like traveling with your wife, Compared to traveling with your friends, yeah, it's crazy. Because I've just been chilling, napping, you know. It's like as if I've got two seats right now, yeah? Like, if I was sitting with my boy, then when you're trying to nap, they would tap you for the 10th time in one hour with a sweaty face saying, bro, can I go to the toilet again, please? Like, bro. <laughs> like, Alhamdulillah, with your wife, I've just been sleeping on, sleeping on her lap, waking up to a head massage. The honeymoon tax is crazy. So right now we just landed Dubai International Airport. Connect, connect. We're gonna catch a connecting flight to Maldives. So I am hungry, but are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hungry. Not like yeah. after I ate in the, in the in the plane, I went to the toilet for for like 20 minutes, in there. <laughs> and you were just waiting outside. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, I ate, I ate quite well, but I cleaned myself quite well as well. So I'm really fond of a meal. Here my luck here, I took two right turns to avoid the Dior store <laughs> and we came to the bloody gold suit and I'm, my wife's telling me, oh, apparently when you go to Dubai, you have to buy your wife gold. I've never heard of that in my life. It's true. I've never heard of that. No Anyways. idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, literally. So now we're actually going to go to, so like I said, this holiday, there's two parts. So there's Maldives and then there's Dubai. We're going to go Maldives first, inshallah. Five days in Maldives, five days in Dubai. And right now we're just waiting with our representative, filling out some details. And then we're gonna go to our resort. We have finally made it to Maldives. That is crazy. Alhamdulillah. Oh my god, that was a long flight. Hello guys, welcome to my villa in Maldives. Let me give you guys a room tour. If you come with me, we're gonna come in, come in to the left. As soon as you come to the left, actually first, let's see the ceiling. This is like them uh, bamboo style ceilings. So if you actually just turn the camera around actually, so this is how it looks from outside. So turn backwards, this is how it looks from outside. Can you see it's lifted up like a triangle. Fine, come back in. All right, let me actually close the door behind us. Because we need some privacy. Alright, cool. So this is a little desk. You've got a cooler over here. But don't mind the space right now, it's a bit messy, but if you come with me. Now, this is a couch. This is the living room, uh, this is a suitcase of uh, the person that I'm sharing this room with, my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come with me. Don't show them outside yet. Turn the camera down. Turn the camera down. Okay, cool. So come this way, come this way. They can't see the outside yet. Cool. So now this is the, I think this is king size bed. King size bed, yeah, king size bed. Got a little TV in the corner. Now, we've got a mirror over here. We're currently using that area for prayer. And I'm coming here. This is 
the bathroom slash toilet. So you've got the toilet there, shower there, you've got his and her sink. Look how much products my roommate has. And look what I've got. I haven't even got a toothbrush. Brother, I was washing my mouth, gargling my mouth with this, taking some cups of the water. And then you've got a bath tub over here. We're gonna go outside from here. You can do it from outside as well. Yeah, there you go. Wow, this is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So now you come out. This is the ocean. This is crazy. So in front first, you can, if you can, can you see, you've got gradients in color. You've got the blue lagoon in front of us. And then into the distance where you can see the different color in the ocean. That's where the ocean starts. But this is a blue lagoon. Now I should come over as well. Let me see. Can we see anything? Apparently you're meant to have like fish and stuff. So we're gonna go snorkeling later. We need to ask our person. So by the way, how it works here, we're staying in a resort called Varu by, by a company called Atmosphere. Every, each couple has one person assigned to them. So we have a lady called Yasmin assigned to us. Any questions, anything we need to book, we reach out to her. So we need to ask Yasmin where we are. Oh my gosh! We need to ask Yasmin where our snorkeling equipment is. But can you guys see, look, the sun is just breaking through. What's going on? Who is going on the steps? The plan is right now, my roommate hasn't gone to the pool yet. We're going to go have breakfast first. And then we're going to come back. Because I'm very hungry. So yeah, all right. See you guys at breakfast. When, when, with women, yeah, when they do something, they take so long to do it. Because I knew if she go into the pool, it's going to take one hour to shower. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> Stop right there. So I go into the pool, I had a little swim, took some pictures and videos. And now, we're basically going to get breakfast. So this is where we have our breakfast and lunch. It's a place called Lime and Chili. So we're going from here. So this is just literally the first time going to the breakfast. Look for my hand. Wow. And this is the breakfast place. Let's go see the breakfast options. Come with me, babes. Morning. 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 So, breakfast options. We've got juices, orange juice, and watermelon juice. We've got some croissants. Some bakery goods over here. This is going to be crazy. Oh my god. We've got some more goods. We've got some breads over here. And I think they're making eggs to order over here. Station, or pancakes, you got French toast, waffles, and pancakes. That is the sun coming onto the ocean bed. Absolutely beautiful. And this is where me and my wife are sitting. So that's her plate. And this is my plate number one. I've got some toast, some beef sausages, chicken sausages, beans, eggs sauteed mushrooms, hash browns, some potatoes, and this is my dessert plate. I've got a pistachio donut, Danish, uh, a croissant, some pancakes, some French toast, and my wife has just bought some Nutella pancakes. It's 
microscope, I've got my iced latte, orange juice, more orange juice. All right, let's enjoy. All right, guys, I've just had three plates of breakfast. And my roommate won't stop going on about something. <laughs> you, you, you want to explain to us? So basically, like opposite us, right? I don't know if you guys can see on the camera. If the camera lens will even pick it up. So you've got the blue lagoon in front. And I know, I know, I can see it. Unreal, absolutely unreal. Oh, I'm about it. Come on, come on. And today we're gonna to learn how a blue lagoon formed. Okay. So here's this part of the land. Can you put a bit more lower on your face. Yeah. yeah. Well. So this part's the land right here, and this is a sea and ocean. Did I say boy? Bay. 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 Yes. <laughs> so this curve in the land is called a bay, okay. and on either side you have a headland. But you also call me bay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all to do with the geology of the rock. Okay. So the soft rock is less resistant, so it's going to erode quickly. So therefore, it curves inwards. Okay. And the hard rock is more resistant to erosion, so it's not going to erode quickly. So therefore, it's going to stick out. Mm. And how a lagoon is formed is because of deposition. The water in the bay is a lot more sheltered. So we're literally just going to have deposition happening all the way here. I'm just going to make a straight line. All lots of deposition happening here. And then therefore this water is completely sheltered now and therefore this is your lagoon and this is your sea ocean simple that is crazy so right now we have just finished breakfast and we are pulling up to the spa the elena spa and we're going to book ourselves a spa a massage, a massage. <laughs> You know, we could actually do some stuff on Tuesday as well. And Monday, we're back on Monday. Monday, Monday's the lift, yeah, exactly. Uh, so, right now, we're just on the way to the water sports center to pick up some snorkeling equipment because we can do snorkeling from our villa because we've got the ocean villa with the, with, with the pool. You okay? <laughs> so, we're gonna go down now, down these steps. It's a little bit harder here. You can take it out your mouth, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful of your phone, Johnny. How was it? So that was snorkeling after snorkeling. <laughs> and yeah, my body is very, very tired. I can't lie. The water is. The current is a bit strong today. It's getting me. So, okay, so like I said, me and my wife have got a spa booked from 6 pm. It's 75 minutes long. So after the massage, we're going to go to a private dinner. It's some honeymoon benefit that we have when we book this. Uh, and then after the private dinner, they're going to do a, a turn down service, uh, which is they're going to decorate our room decorate the bed, decorate the bathtub and whatever. Uh, so yeah, so we've got quite a busy night. I mean like right now. <laughs> Hello roommate. <laughs> it was the best massage therapy I've ever had. The guy knew exactly what to do I wasn't tensed at all. And I feel so, so comfortable right now. How about you, baby? It was amazing. I want to do it again. You, what would you rate out of 10? 11 out of 10. Left over here, we've got some soups. We've got fish soup over there. We've got some breads over here. And then the main stuff on here. We've got some beef lasagna. I had some of this, really, really nice. But this is what I was talking about earlier. How can it be Arabic seafood? So that fish speak Arabic. That was quite nice as well. Grilled fish. We got this and we got a fish from there. That's the Maldivian special fish that they cook in live. Way better than this normal fish. But decent. Haven't tried these. Now of course, of course I tried this. Maldivian spiced roast leg of lamb. Really, really nice. So nice and soft. And then like I said, this is a fish that we tried. Salad 
little bar over here, just the healthy stuff. That's good for egg. And then over here, you've got the Asian ethnic food. For example, you've got things like Bhai Balla. Wow. Bhai Balla. Wow. Okay. And you've got the mains. For example, you've got the butter chicken. Whatever that is. Paneer. You've got some biryani as well. You've got some rice. And then over here, I'm going to show you guys. Sorry. Over here we've got desserts. We've got the last one. We've got chocolate. I'm going to say no worries. And then we've got the English desserts as well. We're going to come try this. And we're going to go with a cake. A cake. And a mango panna cotta. Crazy. I don't know what that means. More desserts. And then once you come out of it, because you remember I showed you there's Asian desserts over there. Okay. Uh, but look, they make naan, roti, paratha, everything live. You let them know, they'll make it for you. Or if there's some made already, you can see over here. Really, really good. And then this is the live grill happening over here. So again, you just let them know what you want. And they will grill it for you. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Let's open it. So, we're, like I said, we're expecting the tender, tender, turn down service. Ooh! Shoes off. Yes. Shoes off. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my lord. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, babe, look at this as well. Look at this. Oh. oh. God. Happy honeymoon! That's so sweet. And then we've got a honeymoon cake as well. Cold, cold, cold. Cute. And then what's they've got the uh, bubble bath thing as yeah. well. How are we gonna put that? My guy, Shamim. <laughs> Shamim, my boy. What, what, what would you say, my guy? That's my guy, not your Sorry. guy. Sorry. I'm the only guy. <laughs> yes, you are. That's so sweet. Look at that. That's so cute. That is very, very cute. That's so cute. So right now. Yeah, so that is a honeymoon decoration and for us, turn down service, cake, we are just going to chill for a bit, I think we might, my wife says she wants to watch something as well, we might watch something, but we had a very very good today, very eventful, we've got lots of things done, tomorrow we've got a busy day as well, I will see you guys tomorrow, checking out, crazy, crazy. How the hell can a breakfast float? How is that even possible? Again, Blue Lagoon, I was Infinity Pool. We've got some bakery stuff. We've got my wife's omelette. We've got some beans. We've got my eggs, juices, some freshly cut fruit, some yogurt. And we are going to enjoy this breakfast. What is up, guys? So we are now on the way to the water sports center. We had our floating breakfast in the morning. I can't let the food was 10 10. But you know what, my wife just made a very good, well, she made a very good point at the time. She said, We just paid about $130 for that floating tray because the breakfast inside we already paid for because we have an all inclusive plan, which is crazy. And they got the food in the same place. But I could fine. have given you floating breakfast. <laughs> yeah, honestly. We could have bought a tray from bloody Amazon from <laughs> London, put some breakfast on there. So, so guys, we came to that. Bismillah. So guys, we came to the lunch place. We were only going to get drinks. And then we saw people's plates. The lunch looks really, really good. So we made a plate ourselves. But we're just going to eat one plate. Yes, please. Fries. We've got chicken burger. Some wok. Sign 
Like I said, Alhamdulillah, the weather is. So we've got about 20 minutes before we take off. Jet skis tour, we're doing swimming with snorkeling with tails. And we chose the reef, wasn't it? Snorkeling in the coral reef. So two stops, jet skis, about a two hour trip. 2.30 to 4.30. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah, the weather is so beautiful. Love that. So what is this? Tea, ginger tea. Is it? I don't know. We're just making stuff up now. <laughs> yeah. So we've just been served this before the... <laughs> you can have it like a shot though. Okay. Cold. And that way we have it, we can feel better for the massage. So I am just going in with my yeah. therapist. <laughs> Thank you. So welcome. Thank you. Just gonna take my shoes off here. Yeah. Wow. This is a view from the room. So when I'm looking down, I'm actually looking through that as well. Really, really good. All right, guys. So we have just finished the massage. So like I said earlier, today was a 45-minute session. Back, shoulders, neck, and scalp. That was honestly amazing. I don't think people, re like I said again, I've done massages in other places. But get these, again, these are people that are qualified to do a massage. This is not someone that works in the kitchen and then comes does massages part time and goes back to the kitchen. This is a person that does, he's a therapist, massage therapist. He does massages only. And honestly, I can't even put it into words, right? How do you feel about the massage? It was so good. I didn't want her to stop. She could go on for hours. <laughs> My guy, he was so like, I'm speechless. Well, fit check. Fit check. Let's go. Oh, wait, I'm going to flex this. Wait. Jeez, love that. Cold. Love it. Yeah. So right now, what we've had is lunch. We've just finished lunch at Lime and Chili. We've been taking some pictures. We've just realized we haven't actually come to the beach that much, simply because we've got the overwater villa. We've got a lot more privacy there with the pool and stuff. But we've actually just come to the beach now to take pictures. You can see behind me. Is where the swings are. Can you see that far? Yeah. Yeah. This where are we? So guys, we are gonna do some oblivion style fishing. So I am gonna go get the bait from there, which hooks onto over here, and then we're gonna go catch some fish. Hey. Yeah. Let's go. Alright guys, we've got a new bait. What happened to the previous one was basically I caught a shark. Yeah. And, and, and the shark bit it off, so we've got a new bait. Yeah, yeah. Inshallah, bismillah. Read your dua. Bismillah. Hey, wow. A professional thing. <laughs> so we've come to one of the restaurants which have which specialize Maldivian style food. So before we enter the restaurant, sorry, we have to wear the Maldivian clothing. In ocean, to the southwest of Sri Lanka and India, lies an island nation consisting of about 1,200 low-lying coral islands grouped into 22 atolls called Maldives. 
Archaeological findings reveal that life in the Maldives began as early as 1500 BC, with the first settlers arriving around 500 BC. They were thought to have been Aryans. So guys, the mains are here. I have got beef steak, which is made with traditional Maldivian spices. And by the way, we tried the starters. The starters are actually quite spicy, right? Yeah, they're quite spicy starters. Uh, it's come with sweet potato and the Maldivian salad. And then over here, the guy explained the whole thing. I think there's tuna in there, there's grilled chicken in there, there's coconut rice in there. Hell of Maldivian flavors, basically. So we're just gonna enjoy that now. So what would you rate this food, restaurant, Maldivian style traditional food out of 10 as a whole? I think for the vibes, like 10 out of 10. Mm. They introduce you to their culture, they show you like the history yeah. of the island. Mm. And in terms of food, I, yeah, I thought it was, it was decent. I can see a red light, but it's <laughs> trying to trick me. What's up guys? So today we are on the fifth day of Maldives. We are having our final breakfast. Not our final meal, because we still got lunch left. But we're having the final breakfast. Oh my drink is no tea. Yeah. So, I have just had my food English. Let me show you guys my second plate. This is a bit more calorific. So, we've got a caramel brioche, passion fruit Danish, strawberry Danish, a chocolate donut, and a strawberry croissant. Berry croissant, yeah. And then, my, for starters though, my wife is also feeding me and herself some pancakes. And at the back, we've got some banana bread. Here. Let's go. So I'm having starters here, then I'm gonna start my second plate very soon. But the weather, once again, alhamdulillah. We've just come to the souvenir shop, just picking out a fridge magnet. We've just chosen this one. Right? This one's cute. What is that? It's a magnet. Midi. <laughs> that looks nice though. Yeah. It's deep as well, but... Oh, it's this as well. I just thought it's now. How's this? The coral and the fish. And we saw this fish. <laughs> right now, guys, I'm right next to the speaker, so I don't know if you can hear me. But alhamdulillah, look at the lovely weather today. Absolutely blue skies. Sun's out. Bright and sunny. And we've got our lunch plate. The last supper. The last supper. The last lunch. Yeah. Look at the rain. Beef corn dog. Chicken in black bean sauce, some roast chicken, some pizza. This is plate one of five probably. That's my wife's food. How is it? Really good. Alhamdulillah. And we're waiting for a drink. But I can't get over this one. Wow. Guys, we have got our, show the camera, our leaving, what would you call it? Goodbye. We've got a leaving goodbye, crazy. Let's <laughs> just see you soon. By the way, don't get any ideas. We're never coming back here. <laughs> Do you think this shit's free? <laughs> That's what you have a husband for. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Guys, imagine my wife, imagine my wife wrote this sign here, which says goodbye Maldives. She just picked up a random rock and wrote it with, yeah? And guess what it was? It was this thing over here. But it's actual, it's actually live. I think I'm zooming into it. I haven't seen anything. But guys, if you can see something walking, it's that thing there. Can you see? Yeah, that's the thing there. 